Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today, we're baking this gorgeous flourless marble cake. It's a cross between rich chocolate cake and vanilla cheesecake, and it tastes even better than it looks. And making it is really easy too. And don't worry about memorizing the ingredients. The whole recipe with exact measurements is posted right under the video. We first start with the cheesecake batter. You can use a stand or a handheld mixer for this. Add eight ounces of cream cheese, and the cream cheese has to be at room temperature, otherwise it will not whip up well. Whip it until it's perfectly smooth. To the cream cheese, we add two thirds cup of sugar. Mix it in. Add one egg and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I always like to scrape the sides of the mixing bowl to make sure everything is mixed in evenly. Finish mixing until it's perfectly smooth. Pour it out and set it aside. Now we're working on our chocolate batter. We will start by cubing one stick of butter and combining it in a small pot with 10 ounces of bittersweet chocolate. And you can chop up chocolate bars for this or use chocolate chips like I'm using. I'm going to cook it on a small flame while constantly stirring to prevent burning. You can also use a water bath, which will prevent burning, or you can melt the chocolate in the microwave in 20 second increments. Once the chocolate is fully melted, just set it aside to cool. In the cleaned up mixer bowl, we're gonna add three eggs, one third cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cognac or rum, the liquor is not a must here, but I really like to use it because it enhances the flavor of the chocolate. And always add a pinch of salt to all your desserts because otherwise they just taste flat. Now on high speed, we will whip the mixture until it's pale and significantly increased in volume. Now this looks good. So now we switch the mixer to the lowest setting and slowly pour in our chocolate mixture and only mix until it's completely combined, we don't want to deflate the eggs. Get your baking form out. I'm using cake with a removable bottom lined with parchment paper. Pour about one third to one half of the chocolate mixture into the pan. And now we will spoon in chocolate and cheesecake mixtures, alternating the colors and putting them in different spots of the pan. And now for the fun part, get a small peri knife and start swirling it around, mixing the two batters and making a pretty pattern. Stop when you're happy with the design. This looks perfect. So now we're ready for baking. We will bake this at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, pull it out and insert a toothpick halfway between the edge and the middle. It's okay if the toothpick has uh, little crumbs, but it's not okay if it's still wet. The cake is ready and I'm turning off the oven and we'll leave the cake with the oven door open to cool for an hour. I left it further on the counter to cool down completely. And now I'm going to unmold it. I loosen the sides from the pan with a spatula, lift the sides out, and here's my trick for removing the parchment paper from the bottom. I slowly start sliding the cake off the pan bottom while simultaneously pulling the paper off as it slides. Go slow here, we don't want the cake to break. So 
So here is the paper off, and now I will place the cake in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. The cake tastes best cool, however, before serving it, take it out out of the refrigerator for at least 10-15 minutes for best taste and texture. This cake really tastes amazing, and I really hope you will give it a try. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you think about it in the comments.